Hello and welcome to Sarawa TV. Thank you for joining us for today. My name is Tosi Akinfolani. Right about now, we'll be having a conversation as regards what is happening lately in our society. Sometime in 1992, a group of squad was formulated basically to curb the effect of robbery in our society in Nigeria. And a um, couple of weeks back now, um, a lot of things has been happening and is is beginning to put the lives of the innocent Nigerians at risk. We'll be having a conversation around this and talking about the group, I am talking about the um, SAS and the police in our society. We have a guest in the studio by the name Kunle Wiseman Ajayi, who is the General Secretary United Action for Democracy in the studio with me. You're welcome, sir. All right, Kuli Wiseman actually wrote something about this occurrence in our society and we'll be talking to him about what exactly um, is happening, what are his um, point of view and what are the possible solutions to this. So Kuli Wiseman, you're welcome uh, to the show. Thank you so much. So what is, your, what is your opinion about the operation of SARS in Nigeria? Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm happy with the historical point of view with which you started. Uh, the formulation of uh, federal SARS, you get it, the Special anti robbery Squad, came at a period in 1992, you get it, by, you know, the General Ibrahim Babangida regime. Okay. And you know that regime had to create federal SARS because that regime had already created what causes armed robbery, crime, 419, and a lot of other things. Because that already started what is popularly known as structural adjustment program, okay. which is a move away from welfare political economies, which Quit Nigeria had been on with since 1960, to what is popularly known as neoliberalism, which means that we are moving from where you have uh, a lot of the companies being owned by federal governments to most of those companies privatized. Okay. You get it like you have the Kaja industrial estate, okay. you get it. Most of the companies there that have been owned by the government have been privatized. You get it. You have a situation whereby full and real employment has been turned to casualization, has been turned to outsourcing, and a lot of other things. Okay. So, as at that time, that government, you know, it was a government, you know, the government of better life, a government where you say, chop make I chop. It was the government of Babangida. So, that government actually itself created the basis for crimes in the society. Okay. The government created the basis for 419 in the Nigerian society, for internet fraud in the Nigerian society. You know, those are the period where you have a lot of criminals. You have people like Ajudua, you have big, big 419 people rising all over the country. You know, so, and when that government did that, the same government had to create also a government equivalent of who, who the basis of what it, it has created. You get it? And that's what you have with the Federal uh, Special anti robbery Squad. You get it? If you look at the anti robbery Squad itself, there is an, it's, it's more of, it has similarity with the same cr crime that is happening in the society. You get it? And that's why you, you saw what happened yesterday. You get it? There are a series of things that have been happening. So, and one other thing should also be noted. When you see a government moving to neoliberalism in such a backward country like Nigeria, where we have not moved, we have not had development, round development generally, okay. you get it? We have not gotten industrial revolution in the country. We have not gotten to a stage where the country has been massively industrialized. The welfareism itself, you get it, had not even been deepened. You understand what I'm saying? So there is no shock absorber. There's no economic shock absorber. You get it? To uh, uh, have structural adjustment program. So politically, such governance, such military rulers try to operate new fascism. They try to have a situation where they force people, they force policies down the throat of people. You get it? And that's why you see that Sosidin Babangida was General Sani Abacha. You have to try to force people to do things. And so, when you're not liking the early history of federal SARS, and to this peak, this is exactly 30 years when structural adjustment program had been forced on Nigerians. You understand? So, the operation of SARS from 1992 
to this period, which is close to about that, just close to three decades itself, you get it, is now coming to the full public gear to okay. Nigerians to see that, yes, this is the whole robust uh, 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 symbolism of what the problem has been. Because now it is, it is shown to the whole uh, world that the federal SARS was created when the same government created some problems. You understand? In the society. In the society. And internationally, too, you see it. The United States is a country that helps to embody imperialism all over the world. They keep underdeveloped countries massively underdeveloped. Where in Chile, you have a great government like Savaldo Alende, you get it, leading, you understand? And that government was, they, there was a coup by the United States because they, fight, they were trying to fight communism. And while they were trying to fight communism, what happened? There was a rise of Islamism. You get it? And they had to embody Islamism to rise. But what did they, they, they were the same people that now had to be creating the CIA to be fighting Islamism. Okay, so right. it's the same thing that is happening in Nigeria today. Okay. So you can see it all over the world and what is happening in Nigeria. So what happened yesterday with federal sales killing people? We'll, we'll get, get there in a moment. Okay. Um, so from your analysis, I've been able to deduce that basically um, the government created an an atmosphere in the country yes. and then created um, a, an agency it just to, yes. Just, to, just. All right, but then um, it's worthy of note that SARS was created for a purpose, yes. which was to curb the crime, even though it the government, government that created, created the, the, the crime, crime in the first yeah, place. Yeah. But then, if the basis was to fight crime, how did you get to the point where they are now being brought out, killing people innocently, extorting the country? If the basis for creating this group is to curb this thing. How did this group get to start doing otherwise? It's simple science. You cannot create something or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You can't change. When you create, it's just like when you lay a foundation. Okay. You get it? And you want to build another thing on that foundation. It's not possible. So you're saying you understand foundation what I'm saying? for building Yes. Stars? When it's just like where you have a, a, in, 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 in the world today where it's massive oppression. There is bound to be that you can't have vacuum in society. Get it? There is bound to be an advancement of that crime by individuals. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Who needs to also gain one or two things? So when you see federal stars today, if you look at many of the federal stars themselves fighting, you see many of them are nowhere faired from the beginning. You understand? Okay. They are working in a very hard situation. You understand? If you look at Nigeria is a massively underdeveloped country. So you are bound to have underdeveloped police force. You are bound to have underdeveloped army. And that's why you see that Boko Haram is killing a lot of uh, our soldiers. You get it? So the federal state itself is an underdeveloped, under-advanced, you get it, military uh, 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 set up itself. If you go to the federal state's office, you see it. It is uncared for. They do a lot of things. You get to their cell. It's not worth of, of it in the first place. So those persons who do that, when they attack armed robbers and all of that, they are bound to also be greedy. If you look at many of the people that they are not even well trained, you understand? So when the, a country, a government, tries to create its own military to face what it has created, you understand what I'm saying? You look at it just like the same story with Boko Haram. It was the Boronu state government at that time that were using them as thugs, despite the fact that it was an, a non-military thing. They are now trying to copy it. It becomes very difficult. Okay. You get it? So federal SAS is bound, is condemned, you get it, to continue to misbehave the way they are. Because they are a microcosm of the society with which you are. the Nigerian government itself misbehaves, you understand, everywhere. So they can't create a better police. All right, thank you so much, um, Mr. Kunle Wiseman. If you're just joining us, we have the, the conversation on police brutality, um, killings, extortion in our society, and we will be talking about the measures to counter them um, in a moment. But then, when we talk about police brutality, when we talk about um, mishandling of humans, what exactly does, does this constitute? Well, 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 it constitutes a threat to humanity. Okay. It constitutes a, a threat to democracy. You get it? And it even constitutes, in the whole, you know, a threat to the economy, generally. How can this be addressed? First and foremost, you have to end SARS. One, that's one major issue. Because 
you cannot use a, a, a force. Okay. You get it? We were out on the street yesterday asking questions, and um, a particular person, a particular young man actually said that. Had a different opinion, though. He said that even though there were bad eggs, that's what he said, bad eggs among these people, they are still doing things. They are still um, performing their role for which they have been set up in the first place. So do you think because of these few bad eggs, we should end SARS? Yes. It's not about few bad eggs. That one is wrong in the first place. OK. You get it? Majority of SARS are who they are by the virtue of how they operate, the environment with which they operate. If you even go to the office, you meet most of them, you get it, are ill-educated. You understand? Yeah. Most of them, you get it, believe that why they are created is not for, that's, that's the simple thing, that why they are created, you get it, is not to correct crime, mm. you get it, is to forcefully hammer crime. And you don't do that. Whatever better police force or security that you can give to society must be social. Because the problem itself is a social problem. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. The problem of robbery and the rest are social problems. So you must be corrective. And you see, while uh, uh, we we're, were contesting at the last election, Tomo Yelich used to say that one of the best ways to do it, you have a military officer that wants to ask people not to do this. The best thing is to say, no, do it this way. It, they should be building the police force, the military and all the rest, in a corrective manner, especially those who are working within the society. It's a civil society. The police must also be civil. So your solution is just to end SARS? Yes, they have to end it. All right. And end the basis for crime. Simple thing. They have to create free, functional, and compulsory education at all levels. Okay. They have to start creating mass employment all over the country. They must have mass industrialization. The notion that only the services sector and work in the country, and then the oil sector should be rubbished. We must go back, you get it, away from where you deregulate the economy, from where you are devalue the naira, you get it. Do all of these things create the basis for these crimes? You get what I'm saying? Yes. For instance, now, you, you, you see what happened with sources. You understand? Sources are they Today, instead of that government, even not for people that were, they, they had to suspend the, the head teacher. Was that the issue? If you look at the video of even that school itself, you get it? Yeah. Anybody, success is a lucky person that she's even as brilliant as that in such kind of rotten school, you get it? Yeah. The governor itself should have resigned. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever measures you need to curb such anomaly in the society, you get it? It must be corrective. However, the kind of government you have now in Nigeria, you get it? is much more destructive than corrective. You don't destroy a problem. You get it. You don't run away from it. That's what escapism is what they do with FSAS and all the rest. Tackle the problem headlong. What is causing arm robbery? We know it. People don't have job. People okay. don't have work. People are not educated. Answer all those problems. All right, taking you back to sometime in August 2018 when the vice president, who was um, the acting president then, mm -hmm. instructed that SARS should be stopped, yeah. brought to an halt. And we saw that they were being reinstated again and, in quotes, reformed. What is your view about this? Because it, it's really funny. Yeah. If at some point a lot of answers actually um, started that and it was said that they have been taken off the society mm -hmm. at least for a while. And then there were reports that they have been reformed and if reformation can still lead to this, then what are we talking about? You see, you see, you see, uh, let me, uh, we have to be modest when we take up the Nigerian government. Mm -hmm. Anybody who understands the party in government, you will know that the only difference between them and the other party, the party with the umbrella and the broom, you get it, okay. is that one tries to use force, that's the PTP, but one is like the rodent. It bites you, and then try to blow some breeze. 
You understand what I'm saying? Okay. This government is worse than the PDP in terms of ideas, in terms of ideology. Their position is never to end SARS. They only did it because they knew that it was close to election. You understand what I'm saying? And, the, and that's why it was significant. They had to bring it back close to the enforcement of the rigging of the last election. You understand what I'm saying? The, so, so, and, then, and then generally, governments in the world tried to, when you fight them, they give you some things, and in another way, they take it back. You understand? Not our own kind of taking it back. You understand what I'm saying? They try to steal it back from you. So what they, they are trying to do now is to reverse the victory of the old. You get it? What we need to now do eh, is to ask for more demands. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are not only going to be asking for ending SARS now. We are going to be asking for the ending of the basis for the crimes with which SARS was created. Okay, talking about the reformation that SAS, um, that was brought to SARS, which made it possible for, um, which is going to create a situation where commissioners of states will be handling SARS in their own various. Don't you think this would work if SARS were to remain? It's not true. The, that one was even a decentralization of the fraud and the crime that had been happening before. So you think it won't work? Yes, they only decentralized the fraud. They took them to different, different police stations. They will still continue what they were doing in the central Yes, form. but then that yeah. means that whatever they do, the commissioner will be held responsible and at least there would be a name. Because one thing about this SARS group is it's hard for you to be able to lay hands on whoever committed crime. Take, for instance, the, instant, the situation that happened on Sunday yeah. where a young man was being shot mm -hmm. after going to um, viewing center to watch and, football, yeah, you know. Yes, um, report is saying mm -hmm. that the names of the policemen were being withheld. Yes, but they said they have arrested them. They have see, arrested see, them, see, but their names are not out there. My sister, you cannot get justice by arresting the same police person. They will just present some criminals in their cell as police officers. You understand what I'm saying? It's a fraudulent government. But then what when we, we have do, the commissioner to hold... What we need to do is to punish them for this. And to punish them for this is to kill whatever they bring with that SAS. End that SAS. Not ending there. Going out to demand from this government to within the next, before the next 21 days, create at least 21 million employment. There are ways we, we can ask them to do it. We raise everything. We draw maps to them and we give them demands that this government must start with immediate effect to say that all universities, public schools should become free at all levels with immediate effect. These are things we need to start demanding because that's the only way we can get justice for Kyle and a lot of other persons that have been killed. That's the only way. If you say that you want to go and arrest the person that shot him, they will give you a lot of falsehoods. They have no been, have you heard it in the history of Nigeria before? They have been shooting, killing a lot of people. Have you heard it that they have arrested one person and they have prosecuted the person? The one that happened that they did that was very rare was during the January 2012. The killing in, in, in Penn Cinema. You get it? The, the, the person that killed in Penn Cinema was arrested and then was imprisoned. You understand? It was rare because, and why? It was because January 2012 was a political upheaval. It was a political revolt. So they must have seeming right response to it. You get it? I you know it was easy to punish just one person out of about 1,000. But in this one, to get justice for Kyrie is to end the SAS itself and end the basis of the crime that SAS created. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Wiseman. Thank you. Thank you. Um, talking about the report of the police um, PRO, there is a press release from the police um, um, CP who says that they will, let me read it in his own words, he said that um, he calls for calm, Mr. CP Zubairu Mazu, he calls for calm as regards the issue that happened on the 31st and assure that justice will prevail in this case. So the Commissioner of Police also condoles with the family, friends and well wisher. He however said that there will be reforms, you know, um, reforms to help in repositioning the anti cultism um, squad for effective service delivery, particularly in areas of respect for human rights and proficiency in the use of firearms. This is just PR. This is just public relations. 
And if you look at it, if you if you if you dissect that statement, it starts with it calls for calm, meaning that don't revolt, mm. don't fight back, don't get justice. You understand what I'm saying? It's just PR. And if you look at the end part, the, the end part of it, they said we will reform the anti cutism this thing for effective service delivery. Who is asking for such services? What, the, what is the basis of courtesy? What we are asking the police force, what we are telling the Nigerian government, we are, not really, we are not really talking to the police force. We are talking to the President Muhammad Buhari, who was the person who started this issue by telling irritated SAS and told them to shoot at sight during the elections. So the, those people got a burden before the election. We are not talking to the, the police force persons because they are working. If you look at the police under Obasanjo, they behave like Obasanjo. The police under Yaradua behave like Yaradua. The police under Jonathan behave like Jonathan. The police under Buhari is also behaving like Buhari. There is no difference. So the person we are talking to is Buhari. The person we are talking to is Oshimbaju. You get it? Yeah. That we are asking them to shoot aside. What we are now asking them to do is now withdraw your shooting aside people. Withdraw your barbarians, you get it, and end the platform you create from this barbarian. We can't have two barbarians in the society. If we have courtists and arm robbers are barbarians, you cannot also create a counter barbarians that are also barbarians. You get what I'm saying? It is innocent people like I did that they will be killing yeah. when you have a battle of two barbarians. You get it? So what we are asking is that deflate what causes bar uh, 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 the, the, the barbaric situation. You get it? Give us. Now, all the money they shared during the election, that they were giving trader money, by right, traders have a right to loans. Yes, what we are asking them to do is to continue to say that by structural note, traders, at least if you are working in social so trade, you can have 20,000 loans per month. You can have 50,000 loans per month. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that they must continue all this reform that they started before election. Those are the demands that we are supposed to be demanding. You get it? Yeah. The only way we can get uh, 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 joy, you get it, at the end of the tunnel for the killings that they have done at all, you get it, is to make sure that we destroy the basis, you get it, of why they were killed. All right, thank you very much. Um, from your conversation, you've been able to deduce that. The basis for all of this crime, I mean, all of this activity is the fact that the country itself needs to be, needs, certain things need to be done in the country. Yes, yes. Certain things to be, to be done as regards our a economy. A bad country begets a bad police. Yeah, but then, that is probably going to take a while before the jobs, as you suggested, will be created, before a lot of things will be done, put in place to ensure that, okay, the society is, the crime in the society is reduced, if not but to the barest minimum. But then, what do you think can be the short-term solution to this, this situation of, because really, if they end SAS, mm. there is still police brutality. Yeah. There is still extortion. There are still illegal searching. A lot of these things are still out there. Even if we end SAS, how do we ensure that these things do not continue? No, this is, you see, whatever victory you get as a working people is very significant. And that is why they try to reverse it at all times. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever short victory you get from these people is very, very significant. It helps. You understand what I'm saying? If you end SARS now, police brutality had been, the wings of police brutality have been cut at least to half. You understand what I'm saying? In terms of internal, that does not mean that soldiers won't be beating people on the way mm -hmm. and all of that, this thing. But it is a pointer. So let's get this victory. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? We must not be afraid of taking a step even if there are one million steps to go. Because the basis of going a million steps is when you take the first step, you take the second, you take the third. There are times that you can run 1,000 steps at a go. You get what I'm saying? Yes. But if you don't even take whatever steps, you, you're not going to do anything. You understand? And when you talk about the fact that uh, 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 whatever we want to get from government must be long term and all of that, there are some things we need to get. Our own calendar is not the calendar of the ruling class. The four, four years calendar of the ruling class must be discarded by us. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
because we must be creating our own revolutionary situation at every snap that we have the chance, the opportunity to do so. Because their own for four years tenure is not a tenure to change things. It's a tenure to continue to perpetuate the evil, you get it, that they do in government. You understand what I'm saying? So what we need is that at this point that we have a, a radical momentum, we must seize it to win a lot of things. One action step is important. To, because these people too that you see in government, they are not as powerful as the way they are. No. How many are they? That's the question. How many people are in the army? How many people are in the police force? We must not underrate what we can do as a mass. You understand what I'm saying? Anybody who was part of the January uprising in the 2012, we understand that Nigerian people can, within a day, change the whole of the fortunes of this country. You get what I'm saying? Yes. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Wiseman. All right, if you're still watching this, is Sarah TV. My name is Tosin. We'll be going for a quick break, and when we get back, we'll still keep this conversation going. Countermeasures on um, police brutality, SAS activity, as well as extortion. In